Parashut Moray Verabotai, vous êtes permis sur Hashem. De Parasha of Emor, there is there a story. Hashem, he told Moshe Rabbeinu that in the Beit HaMikdash, we should have 12 chalot. 12 chalot, 12, 12 pieces of bread and a, a special table and 12 chalot and next to the chalot there is the menorah. The question is why we need the chalot? Why Hashem he need the bread? And the Bet HaMikdash. Even the Rambam, he don't understand what, what it is the meaning. So you have to know something that in the chalot they will bake them the Kohanim and we will, they will put them on the, they will put them warm on the table and they will remain warm all week. That was a big mess. Usually you go to the bakery, you buy bread, and after one hour the bread is cold. After one day the bread, uh, you cannot eat it. After, after three days the bread, uh, you cannot eat it. But here there was a miracle that the bread remained warm. And what they do the Kohanim on Shabbat, they will take the bread and they will eat it and they will put again another 12 bread for next Shabbat. So what it is the purpose for this? I was thinking, Hashem, you want to teach us how much we have to how much we have to have emuna. A lot of people they don't work on Shabbat. And they are a little bit uh, uh, concerned. What about if I don't work Shabbat? Everybody, his shop is open. And what about Parnassah? So the answer is, look, Hashem give Parnassah. And Hashem, you can, you can be a millionaire. If you don't have bread, if there is no food, you cannot live. Only with food you can live. So Hashem, you want to tell Jew, the Jews, Keep Shabbat, you will have the bracha all week. And that's why the, they used to put the bread on Shabbat, and they used to take the bread on Shabbat. On Shabbat, they would take it from the... And, and the, the bread, after seven days, it will remain hot. That means Hashem, the same way that Hashem, He can take care of the bread, that since He went out from the, from the oven, he remained hot all week. Can you imagine that? Do, do you hear me? Can you imagine? You bake bread. You put it on the table and it will remain warm all week. Like you just bake it now. That means that Hashem take care of the bread. That means Hashem is uh, he's the one who gives parnasa. That is why Hashem he want to tell you that uh, that you must have you must have these twelve bread. You know why twelve? Because we are we are twelve tribes. So the twelve tribes, all I'm Israel. What I have, maybe you don't have. What you have, maybe he doesn't have. Hashem, he wants us to help each other. Look, Hashem, he said, the same way that I take care of the bread, so take care of yourselves. Each one should help the other one. You know, this is the, the meaning of the 12 bread that we had in the Beit HaMikdash, next to the menorah. Why next to the menorah? The menorah is the symbol of the Torah. That means we have two things very important in our life. Keeping Torah mitzvot, and of course, we need to eat. We need parasa. So Hashem, he said, look, that's what happened in the Beit HaMikdash. You study Torah, respect Torah mitzvot, and be Ezat Hashem. I will give you a good panasa. Don't take, uh, don't worry, the panasa will get it. Well, be Ezat Hashem with the help of Hashem, Tosh Baruch Hu, will give us panasa tova and reward. Amen. Amen.